Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about that requirement to file to come in this house. Now, one of the things that people need to be aware of is that QuickBooks Online, in its current state, hope that'll change soon, but in its current state, cannot file your statutory accounts to Companies House. So if you can't just file from QuickBooks it's Online itself, what options do you have? Well, this is what this video is all about. We're gonna to talk to you about how and what options you have for getting everything filed to Companies House to make sure that you're compliant. Watch this if you don't wanna get yourself a nasty little penalty for not filing on time. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of accounts here at Boffix. Now, if you own a company, you have a statutory requirement to file a set of accounts over to company sales each and every year. Now, that's not your only requirement. You still have to do a confirmation statement and you may have to file a tax return as well, called a corporation tax return, which may also need a set of accounts to go with it. But in today's video, we're just going to concentrate on that statutory set of accounts. What the accountants refer to as your abbreviated, your micro entity, or something along those lines. Basically, it's the set of accounts that live on Companies House. Now remember, Companies House can be looked at by anyone. So what you put on Companies House, you need to make sure you strip back as much as you can and only share, show the bare minimum. What you don't want to be doing is just sending a full set of full-blown accounts over to Companies House and giving away all your trade secrets. Being a smaller entity, you get the option to send in a paired back set of accounts. Again, mostly called an abbreviated or micro entity account. Now, the big thing is if you have QuickBooks Online, then QuickBooks Online does not give you the option to just press a button and submit those accounts. Unfortunately, you're going to have to use one of these other methods. Now, in the future, there may be the option, and I'm pretty confident this will happen, there will be an option for that to happen within product. But for now, QuickBooks Online is designed to be your bookkeeping solution. And it's fantastic. It makes sure that you can add a bank account, you can use your, your phone, you can file your VAT return, you can file your CIS, you can do your payroll, you can do a whole manner of amazing things with QuickBooks Online. It's just at this point in time, you can't just submit a set of accounts. Now submitting a set of accounts is a pretty complicated area. And to be honest, it takes a lot of training to be able to do it to a competent standard. But especially in the first couple of years, and especially if your company is what was called dormant, then you may just be able to use this handy video today to be able to make sure that you can get at least something to company's house to avoid that fine. Because the way Companies House works is that you can go in and look at any company at all and you can see when their filing deadline is. And if you miss that filing deadline, then straight away you're going to be slapped with a £150 fine. So I'm just going to open up a Google search. Now do be careful when you do Companies House into Google or in this case Bing because you want to be making sure that it is the actual gov.uk site. You see here, I clicked on this one. This one went to a different site. I want the gov.uk. From here, I can find company information. Start now. And I have a little fake company we can use. And as you can see with this particular client and this particular company, it's giving me all this information, but importantly, it's telling me when is it due. Now at the time recording, that's a long way away. So I'm not overly worried I'm gonna miss that, but I need to make sure I file by that date. If I don't file by that date, then I am gonna be subject to some form of penalty. So if that deadline was here, what do I need to do? Well, actually I can file directly from this website. So I can go in. Now when I come to file this, you'll notice that you also do you want to do your corporate tax HMRC now. I'm gonna say no at this point, because if I say yes, then I don't get the opportunity to file through this service. If I say no though, then it gives me this option. Do I want to do my currency account, abridged, full accounts, or dormant? Now, dormant is if you've had no activity whatsoever in the business, and you're just basically telling companies house there's nothing to worry about, but you're mostly gonna have to choose between abridged or micro entity. Now, basically, micro entity is the smallest obligation for you to be able to submit. 
The idea of micro NT accounts, but it's supposed to be literally one or two pieces of A4 paper, was supposed to be all you need to submit to Companies House. Now, abridged is a little bit more complicated. They're basically the full accounts that have been actually reduced and abridged to what actually you want to put up on, put on the company's house. I can choose micro entity accounts, this one, and press save and continue. And it says it needs my file, my micro entity accounts, it needs a password. And then the important thing is it needs a company number. So that's one that you get from company's house and it needs an authentication code. Now you do get the option to request an authentication just there by the post, but basically authentication code would should be on some form of information you've had from company's house. Normally if they're requesting a filing code or you've just set up your business, well that first piece of physical post should include what's called your authentication code. And you always need to make sure you keep hold of that, it's really important. Once I sign in, I'm taken to my company house area and from here I get the opportunity to file some company accounts. I get to do micro entity account, abridged and there is an option to file full accounts company's house HMRC. I'm going to do a separate video on that later but that is a completely separate service. What I'm going to be looking at though is these. Now for you to be able to do micro entity your turnover can be no more than 632 and it's at least the following, and your balance sheet total is no more than 316. Average number of employees is no more than 10. And then basically for your abridged, it's 10.2 million turnover, 5.1 million balance sheet, and 50 average turnover. I'm gonna jump into the micro entity account, so, which is the one we said we're gonna see. Make sure you're happy with that, file your micro entity accounts, and this is where it's gonna ask you information. Now at this point, this is where you're going to need to be using QuickBooks. Now it doesn't make it very obvious where you need to get this information from, but first of all, you need to know your date of balance sheet at the top there. You need to be making sure you've got that correct. And then you're going to be looking for this information. Now the first bit of information is all about what's on your balance sheet. So for the balance sheet, you're going to have to nip over to QuickBooks Online to find out what's going on. Now in this particular example, we are assuming that you've already looked at my previous videos and made sure your accounts are ready to be submitted. You want to be looking at things like the fact that your bank has been reconciled up to a date after your period end. You want to be looking at the idea that you don't have any suppliers that still owe money and still overdue. And you want to be making sure things like your customers are all up to date as well and that the, if there are items overdue they are actually legitimate items and it's things like that you want to be making sure are correct before you look at submitting when you are ready though and you've gone through those submissions then we're going to jump in the report section and from the report section we're going to look at our balance sheet now it's important that we put the date range that agrees to this element here it's really important that we make sure our date of balance sheet is correct and it's actually the year end that we've been asked to put to so we're going to be asked for called up share capital and within quickbooks online on our balance sheet we can see our share capital is under our ordinary share capital make sure that's a posting you've already made to quickbooks this should be how much shares you had when you first set up the company so you want to be putting that again i've got a video on how to put that into quickbooks online you're then going to be asked what your prepayments and accrual income is. You're going to be asked if you have any total fixed assets, any total current assets. And you'll notice in here that they are lined up the same total fixed assets. Now, if any of these terms are confusing for you, then just reach out to one of my other videos where I go through this in a lot more detail. But effectively, it's a copy and paste exercise. I'm taking the figures that I have on my balance sheet as at the correct date and moving them over to my balance sheet on here. Once I've done that, I need to go through and tick these buttons to make sure they're correct. Date of approval, validate and continue, and then it will be ready to go. Now, once you've completed that and basically transferred the information from QuickBooks Online into your, your company's house, then you're ready to confirm the statement and ready to go. Now, again, we're showing you micro entity accounts here, so they're the most smallest of accounts possible, and they don't need any more information than that. For your second option, and honestly, the option I think might be a little bit more sensible is just inquire about finding an accountant to do it for you. You see, the terminology can be really confusing to people who aren't from an accounting background. 
And getting this wrong can be the difference between you being able to obtain the right amount of credit later down the line, from not getting in trouble with Companies House or HMRC, and make sure that you don't have a fine that might wiggle its way to you. So QuickBooks Online can provide all the information you need to be able to file that information over, but it could be a little bit more complicated than first page. And there we have it. The most important thing is knowing where the data is. So let's go through that again. Under Reports, we're going to go to Balance Sheet, and from balance sheet, we're going to pick what over, what is our date range, making sure that whatever, if, if our last financial year agrees with what's there. You may even need to compare to previous period. So don't forget to use that previous period option, run report, to be able to see what is needed. Straightforward. But remember, QuickBooks Online is only designed to provide the information. You've still got to check the information's right. You've still got to be able to then transfer that information from one from your system, QuickBooks Online, over to Companies House. Now we are expecting some update at some point on QuickBooks doing all this for us. With a couple of clicks, their expectation would be that you could submit some accounts directly to Companies House. But we never know, that may never appear. One thing we need to know at this point in time is how to make sure that we're not falling foul of being able to submit everything we need to Companies House. If you are needing accounting advice, then don't forget to talk over to Boffix, my firm where we specialise in taking people's QuickBooks accounts and getting them submitted to Companies House in as efficient way as possible. But let me know below, is it something you're looking forward to? Do you think that QuickBooks should go down the route of being able to submit companies' accounts? Is that something you would use or just not feel confident to do it yourself and still look out for an accountant? I'd be really interested to know because I think this could be a really telling point into what's going to be the future of software like QuickBooks Online going forward. Does it do absolutely everything for us? And do we actually need to have an accountant? It'd be great to hear your thoughts on that below. For my thoughts on what you think of this, tune over to QuickBooks Labs where me and Ash talk during our podcast. And it was actually one of the topics we spoke to on our last QuickBooks Labs, the one that was just recorded from here in December 2021. And that's it. Nice, short, sweet one for us today. The idea that we can get information from QuickBooks Online into Companies House if we need to at a pinch and how that is done. Hopefully that has been useful for you. If you want a more detailed look at this and you want me to look at some of the other options, like getting your abbreviated accounts in there, or what I'm sure more of you will be more bothered about is actually getting your Companies House and CT600 one, let me know below, give some thumbs up, get sharing this video, and I promise you that will be one of the next ones on the list. My name has been Aaron Patrick, hopefully this has been useful for you, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat, Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.